Hello, this is Andrew, and here's another demonstration video. In the last video, I covered the uh, GPIO SYS FS driver. In this video, I'm going to cover the Linux I2C driver. And to do so, I have an I2C device connected to the Zyber board, which is this device here. It's just an LCD screen. Um, in the status bar below, I'm going to mention where I got it from and uh, which set of uh, libraries that I'm using. But essentially, I took basically Arduino libraries and uh, changed them. I slightly modified them so that they could work over a Linux operating system using the Linux I2C uh, drivers, basically. So here's my setup. I'm actually using the Ethernet this time as a way of easily moving my uh, application onto the Linux uh, kernel. Before in the last project, I was just using, uh, I was just rebuilding the Linux kernel every time. But now I have actually had the uh, network file system server running on Ubuntu over this side. But before I get to the actual project, uh, here's my FPGA design. Really, really simple. This is actually a lot simpler than the first project, but all it is is the uh, I2C connecting out, and then it's connecting to the LCD through the, uh, I think it's PMOD E. So right now I have it set up such that um, I have uh, this folder here mounted onto the mounted onto the uh, Linux kernel running on the uh, Zybel board, had a Linux, and that's where I'm basically running the software from. But without further ado, this window, this window is a uh, serial terminal that's showing the output from uh, Peta Linux running on the Zinc chip, and now I'm running the program. So as you can see here, there is Hello World, you know, your basic program, and I have it set up so that I can type using the keyboard and then information from the keyboard to reflect on the LCD. So as you can see here I typed does this work and that same message appears on the LCD. So that's basically it. Um, I'm probably gonna add well I'm gonna add this over my GitHub repository. For those who want to look at the code, but I might make a small blog entry and talk more in detail about it. Have a lot of fun doing this uh, project and learning a little bit more about Linux and using the I2C driver, which apparently was a lot easier to use than the GPIO driver. It was basically just like a few functions. And you, you basically used read and write to write information across the I2C master interface. But uh, that's basically it. This concludes this video. Thanks to those few people who took the time to watch it, and have a nice day. Love you!